because it is a category two hurricane and it's the first uh, hurricane in, uh, you know, the strongest hurricane to make its way into this portion of Mexico and expected to possibly reemerge into the Caribbean Sea over the next several days. I'm talking about 10, 11 days for this to take shape. And so the the forecast you've been, you know, kind of hearing people talk about it being above average. So the average amount of name storms we get on any typical season would be about 14. But now they're forecasting with 70% certainty that we're going to receive 14 to 21 name storms and major hurricanes on average we would see about seven, but they're forecasting about six to 10. And the major hurricanes, you know, they're talking about the forecast being minimum three major hurricanes, minimum three. So, uh, you know, starting out June 1st, that's the first official day of the Atlantic hurricane season. We're looking at this area, particularly because the warm water, the, the shallow warm water and the very low amount of wind shear that's occurring. Uh, tropical weather features need several, uh, you know, weather elements in order to maintain that core or that center of circulation and it's going to get torn apart by the topography, the mountainous topography and terrain of Mexico that's going to cause very severe mudslides. So here we're stuck in the middle. You can see an upper level feature is just blowing up areas of uh, central and southern Georgia with thunderstorms and some pretty strong, but they're going to fizzle out with the heating of the day. We've got a couple of showers that we've been tracking, but mostly just looks like a mess around areas of South Florida and into portions of uh, Central America. So, you know, if we get a name storm, the first name that you'll hear will be Alex if it pertains to us in the Atlantic and in the Caribbean. But the future cast does show that most of this activity we're going to see in the next couple of days will be driven by the heating of the day, spotty showers here and there. A cold front will arrive as we head towards the end of the week, and then we'll start to see by the middle of the week whether or not this tropical weather feature is going to reemerge. So low 90s, get used to them. They're here to stay. And then we're talking about the air drying out just a bit for the weekend. Stay right here. We'll have more.